you mean that polar star? Yeah, heck, look what he did to my wrist. Yeah, from like, that was from like 100 feet away. Hey Airsofters, welcome to another episode of Airsoft Mandalorian. We are playing at OSG Paintball in New Durham, New Hampshire today. Um, this video is kind of an exclusive video. It isn't much of a gameplay video. Now wait just a second before you either pause it, X this tab, or click on something else. Just hear me out for a second. Um, I am going to explain the gameplay, but there is not really much action in this video, so I'm going to use it more as an explanation video and more of an narration video. So, just hear me out. Um, this is obviously Map Castle. Um, this is a unique type of gameplay. It's not the traditional one where you have an attacking team and a defending team. Um, obviously you have two teams, but instead the mission is that both teams start outside castle at two different respawn points, and inside castle they have a construction cone in the middle of the castle with two flags. And obviously you, can, you guys can guess it from there. Each flag is a team's flag, and you're trying to get your flag in there. And whichever team has their color flag in that cone at the end of 25 minutes is the winner. So. This video picks up probably about 5 minutes to 10 minutes after uh, the, the game started. My battery died on my AK-47, so I went out to the dead zone, got another battery, came back in, but my gearbox jammed up, and also my 1911 pistol hop-up broke on it, and my 1911, uh, uh, gather, my other 1911, it, the gas ran out, out of the magazine, and I wasn't able to refill it. You know, this is before I had all my gear, so this is several years ago. But um, I'm using this video, like I said, more as an explanation video. Uh, if you guys can keep me up to date with my videos, uh, but Operation Honor, uh, <laughs> actually, actually kind of funny, it's irony, because uh, this day there were two players that were very, very unhonorable, and this is what this video is about. Uh, there were two players there that day who were Polish Star HBA tank players, and they were probably the worst uh, sports of um, honesty, overshooting, bonus balling, and attitudes I have probably ever seen in Airsoft. These two players were the first ones responsible for me uh, poisoning me, uh, my attitude, if you will, against anyone who runs the Polar Star. Um, these two guys had their guns at about 800 FPS and almost all the time on fully automatic. And they would uh, shoot you even when you were out, you'd call your hit, start to walk away, and they keep on shooting you in the back. That was the, really the big problem on this round, I'll explain a little bit later. Um, and if you guys watched one of the ones earlier about in uh, Urban Town, uh, when Dan and I were in uh, the right side of Urban Town side building, when Dan kind of went crazy, kept on yelling hit, I kind of muted over that because of the language. Um, one of the Polar Star players would not stop shooting him, just kept on shooting him and shooting him and shooting him and shooting him, even after he kept on saying hit. Yeah, I also experienced that as, as well that day. Now, there were two of them. I don't know if they were friends or they just met there, and they kind of connected just because they were both HBA tank people. But um, all I know is they were horrible sports, horrible cheaters. You, you'd shoot them, even like right in the face mask, you'd see them like get hit, kind of jerk, look right at you, and then just keep right on shooting you. And even after you would honestly call your hit, start to walk away, they just keep on pummeling you. Unfortunately, no one started complaining about this near to the end of the day, and even then, they didn't do anything about it. Like, Justin and the refs talked to them, and even then, they still wouldn't really adjust their guns. And it was right at the end of the day, so I think they might have told them, okay, you guys only get semi-automatic. But, you know, it was kind of too late to do anything. Uh, even in the semi-automatic game, which uh, you guys probably watched before this, uh, two of them on occasion were going on fully automatic on people. Also, one person experience, um, I got hit, and um, I, I, had, I had shot one of the Polar Star players. I snuck up on him, shot him in the backpack where it wouldn't hurt, and he's like, oh, nice hit, man. Comes back 30 seconds later and just lights me up. You know, on semi-automatic, he's trigger spamming me, so he's like, Bang, you know, f you know, like it's almost like you know a slow full auto, and I called a hit. And a ref yells seven times, hit, and is pointing at me and pointing at him to stop, but he doesn't. And his excuse was, oh, uh, just to make sure he was hit. And, I'm, and of course, me and the ref were like, that's complete BS, man. You completely knew it, and you did not stop shooting him. So, you know, if you guys, are there any Polar Star you know, players watching this video, hey, I don't, I'm hoping you guys are better sports than these guys. Uh, it is also my experience that with anyone with Polar Star guns, they have very, very bad attitudes toward other players. They think it's because they've invested a lot of money in, in Polar Stars that they have a right to think they're better and that then, you know, they're better players. You know, they think themselves are better and they tend to look down on players. I mean, at many games, you know, someone looks, you know, at me and my friend, they're just like, oh, you guys, you know, you're just with your AEGs and I'm with my, you know, $2,000 Polar Star I put all this money into. It's like, okay, that's nice. You know, congrats, you put a lot of money into the game. doesn't mean you're any better. So these two guys had, like, all the attitude qualities of that and a bit more and even the bad sportsmanship of cheating and overshooting so 
just kind of putting this out there as an explanation video. And, you know, I must say that um, I've only run into two people I've actually ever played with that were very fair with Polar Stars. One of them you will see later in um, a uh, later uh, episode of Airsoft Mandalorian at OSG. It's uh, CJ. You heard me mention him a lot. He gets a Polar Star later, and he's very, very fair with it. Keeps it at 350 FPS and only on three run burst. So very, very fair. It doesn't hurt a lot, and it's very nice. Also, another player that I um, I met a couple times while playing at the new place I play at, which is RPC in Fremont, uh, he has his gun firing at about the same, and his full automatic is only about like seven rounds a second. Uh, he's part of a club that actually makes HPA guns that are like as realistic as possible with blowback and um, and like actual realistic cycle rate of fires and not actually hurting. So I was very impressed. And there's one YouTuber I did see. Uh, it's Dutch the Hooligan. Want to give a shout out to that guy. I'm very very impressed with how fair he is with his Polish star. Uh, he almost never goes on fully automatic. I've only seen him once go on full auto with that thing, and it's not as fast. It's only about as half and fast as my EG. So I'm very impressed. If you were watching this Dutch, you know, give you a give you a thumbs up. You know, really good man. You definitely uh, make me feel a lot better about Polish star players. But you know, this is you know, I've met a lot of them, and like I said, I've only met two that I've actually you know didn't have an attitude and actually were fair. So you know, hopefully not you know being too rude about this. But just what I thought I'd give you an explanation because I dropped a lot of hints that I would be making a video about this in uh, earlier episodes of this day so that's all for now thanks for watching i hope you guys you know kind of you know felt my position weren't just like oh you just you know raving because you know this was not just me my entire team later this game including myself quit this match because everyone was just tired of having you know the, the crap beat out of them you know come up to the wall get the snot shot out of you even when you're walking away just you know keep on getting raked out the back everyone's just like yeah we're done and i quit i mean my friends quit uh, even eric quit and he's like one of the die most diehard players i've ever met so you know, the refs just called the games, and everyone just quit. Because everyone's like, yeah, we're not playing like this. Because we're tired of getting shot. So, you know, I just want to throw it out there. It wasn't just me. My entire team was hating these players. And a lot of people said, you know, you refs don't talk to them. Someone's going to beat the living heck out of these guys. So, throwing it out there. Hope you guys have a good one. Hope you guys, you know, any of you, any of you just polar star players out there who watch this, please just remember that your guns can shoot much harder than uh, AGs. Just remember what it would feel like to be shot with your gun if you guys are running hot. Just remember that. It's no fun, you know people like that they ruin airsoft no one wants to play so hope you guys enjoyed this thanks for watching another episode of airsoft mandalorian please stay tuned for the next match the next um uh operation is uh, operation independence so please stay tuned for that thanks for watching another episode of airsoft mandalorian please subscribe like and leave your comments below until next time don't forget get out there and play